There's something that I haven't shared. With the okay. World, uh, which is that uh, I'm a virgin. Mm. This is the first time I've ever said it, you know, and said it so, so you know, actually heartfelt. And my whole identity identity is crashed. It's like this whole facade that I was building up is totally gone. And every girl who looked at me and said that made that face I love you too you were so honest with that you know I'm so grateful for that you know and that means that the girl who wants me she's gonna be like hey thank you for saying what you are you know she's gonna say that right I can't wait to meet her I can't wait to fucking you know kiss her on the lips I can't wait to fucking take her and you know just pin her down and say I have been waiting for you all my life I don't have to be ashamed of my race and what people say about you know hey Indian guys don't have a big personality whatever that is you know I don't have to be ashamed of that that's beautiful you know why because that doesn't mean that I can't please a girl it means that I can bring it because because you know you know the intensive the intensity of love that I have inside that's just waiting to come out. I want to say how beautiful she is. I want to say, you know that earring that you're wearing? Do you know how fucking beautiful you are? Have you seen yourself through my eyes? You should see yourself through the way I look at you. You would never fucking question it. You wouldn't even look in the mirror, you know? You would walk down the street and feel like a goddess. You are a fucking goddess, you know? You're the way you move, the way your hips move, the way you carry yourself, you know? You're, you're the way your boots jiggle, that's that's something divine. There is something divine to that. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You know? You know why? Because there is something profound. I used to I used to look at Tyra Banks on the cover of Bombay Times and look at that and then I used to feel that rush of hormones inside me. I used to feel that and I used to feel so guilty when I went to the bathroom. You know? I used to feel so guilty and later I would go to God and say sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what I'm telling God now? I'm gonna say thank you for Tyra's boots. Thank you, God. Thank you, because I know you wouldn't make something that you wouldn't want me to. You wouldn't want me to look at. I, I know you wouldn't make something that you wouldn't want me to be attracted to. Why would you do that, right? You're a good person, God. You know, I can see you. I can see you right through that lens. I can see you right here. I can see you. You know, the way consciousness is right now. I can see you, and I know that you made us all to be together. And this connection feeling, it's true. It's really true. There's, it's not false. I can feel it, you know. And I just wanna, you know, I, I can see, I can see this happening, you know. I can see this global sexual freedom happening. I can see this whole revolution happening. People don't have to repress themselves anymore, you know. And this whole stigma about, you know, sex and stuff, that's gonna go away. Because that's gonna be celebrated. There'll be no more Elliot Rogers. You know why? Because when he thought of all that stuff that he wanted to. See, when he got so jealous, that was because he was so stigmatized against himself. They're not going to be repressed. There, there's no sluttiness. I hated that a guy calls a girl a slut because because she's she's embracing her femininity. It's such a beautiful thing, dude. Imagine if somebody made fun of you because you, you know, had sexual feelings. Because I lived that. I know how how bad it feels to be ashamed. You know, whether it's by other people or by God or by religion, I know how it feels to be ashamed of your own sexuality. It's not good. It's not necessary. We don't need that anymore. You know, let's let that go, dude. Mm. She's liberated. Mm. She's a wonderful child of God, just like you are. You are okay. There's nothing wrong with you. Yes. There's nothing wrong. You are awesome. You are doing what God really intended. You know, you know, and to God, my message is thank you for being there. You know, thank you for coming through. I know it took you, took you a while, but the real God, you came through, man. And I know that consciousness and beauty and these things they have nothing to do with hating your body you know this thing that's awesome okay and let's celebrate it and I love you you really are we thank you so much for this right now you are amazing and you have nothing to be ashamed of. absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Dude, I, it's all good it's all love, it's all good. Seriously, thank you for this. You gave so much to people. You gave so much to yourself. You healed yourself so much. You really, and you know what? Now that you let it all out, there's not going to have the same power over you. Your will is all that shame, all that hurt, all that guilt is, is, is powerless. It's absolutely powerless. What's it going to 
what's it gonna do now? You absolutely rationalize why it's wrong. And why you're okay and why you're beautiful and why you are bad as you are. So this is it's not a good and you are right for the making of fun of everyone outdoors and letting everyone hear from you. Thank you. are so powerful. You know that? You know, strong men don't do this. Strong men don't reveal their emotions. They don't reveal their demons. You just killed them all. Right now. You realize how strong you are? You are absolutely unlimited. Dude. You are awesome. You are awesome. And anyone who sees that who sees what just happened, knows them. And if they think otherwise, they got a lot of demons themselves. They have so many demons themselves, and they say, I don't like that because he's being way too honest and way too real right now. Thanks, man. Uh, dude, what just happened? That was crazy. I hope I got it. I hope I got it. It's all good. It doesn't matter, man. I can't believe I did that. Dude. It's good. <laughs> So heavy. You just you let it all go right now. You know what? I'm just gonna put it on YouTube. I don't care. Wow. Yes. I, I'm not gonna. I'm. Not, I was gonna tell you don't show it yeah. to anybody. Yeah. I was gonna tell you don't. I know it said said a lot of stuff, and I know like maybe I got it out, and nobody should ever know about this. But you know, I've already achieved my internal yeah, release. Yeah. But I don't want that. I you know. I, I don't want to defend it anymore. If it's if it's really that bad, then yeah. let them. I, I'd rather be true, yeah, and different than be false mm. and fucking the same as everybody. You else. know how powerful it is for you to own that, for you to like say like, yeah, I'm a f***ing virgin, and like just make jokes about it and be so okay with it. Anyone else who is a virgin will be like, I'm okay, like I'm not bad. Everything that you just said, all of your scars. Whenever someone else hears that, who has that same scar or goes through that same struggle, is like, I'm okay, and this is why. You literally healed so many people right now, and you healed yourself. So thank you, dude. Thank, thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Man, I gotta say some really crazy stuff now. I gotta like dig really deep, because you did that, and now you did that, and I'm like, what do I gotta say? Like, crap, man.